Just want to let you guys know, this truck grossed over a million dollars for us. Our 72% cut, and I know there's going to be some of you in the comments that are going to be very skeptical about this and say, well, you could do better here, or I did better than you. Welcome back drivers to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. In this story time right here, a prime driver, a prime driver claims that the truck made a meal in the year. One million dollars. <laughs> Can you guys believe that? Do you guys believe? Do you actually believe that his truck actually made one million dollars but here he is explaining the breakdown by the numbers he is in his second lease program with prime he just finished the first one and he says that his second one had made one million dollars <laughs> at prime no more wasting time let's get it hold on we have finished two full leases here at prime Inc. and i'll put a link right here for this card uh you'll take a look and see our first end of lease breakdown which wasn't nearly as in depth as this one going to be um as you as you mature as an operator the more you do the more focused you begin starting to be on certain things my numbers now are way different than what they were then uh, not just amounts, but also the in-depth uh, versions of these numbers. So it took us 151 weeks to complete. The total lease revenue was $921,787.58 without the end of lease completion bonus. Uh, weekly average uh, was 6104.55 to the truck gross. Total cost to operate the truck for the 151 weeks was $533,390.72. Uh, which gave us a weekly average of $3,582.38 per week. Week That was across the board, cost for that truck. Uh, net revenue, which is uh, take home to the bank, pre-tax, was uh, $388,396.86, uh, which gave us a net weekly average of $2,572.16. Now guys, I understand this. This at Prime Inc, guys, when you're leasing or you're an owner operator and you are in this fleet, you're not at 100% risk. So there is no 100% risk out here. You just, the whole part of working within a carrier, having that safety net, um, and having that partial dividend given back to them because you're using their numbers, their insurance, and all that stuff. So, yes, there's going to be a lot of you who own your own truck, have your own authority, maybe with other carriers that might do better some weeks. This is an average. This is not. I mean, I've had weeks where I brought home eight grand to the bank, okay? Just crazy numbers for, for 2,000 miles, okay? And then there's weeks where we've only brought home 2,000 because we got hung up at shippers and receivers. Every week is not the same. You have to keep an open mind with all this. So everyone's home time is different. Well, we, we were, a, uh, we're a younger team, so we are out there getting as much as we can. We go home as often as we can because uh, obviously we have our family at home and our girls. And guys, you gotta understand, everybody's situation is different, okay? This is her EOL week, her end of lease week was on the 19th of January this year. Our 2021 Freightliner had 597,147 actual miles. 552,813 of those miles were dispatch miles. All right, now you might say, some of you who are new to the industry say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't the actual miles equal the dispatch miles? Well, they do zip code to zip code dispatching, and that's usually an industry standard. It's going to be very hard to find a carrier that's going to actually pay you for actual miles. They do exist. Don't get me wrong. Prime is not one of them. Okay. So as you subtract those actual miles or the dispatch miles from the actual miles, it gives us a dividend of 44,334 potential miles that we weren't paid for. Tonk averaged 4,558 miles per week. And this is all weeks considered. So if we went home 10 weeks this year and only went home six the last year, this is even if you're sitting home, this is an entire average for the 100 and 31 weeks that she was in operation. She was in operation for 131 weeks. That's what we had this lease for. 917 days, which is a total hours, uh, total of 22,008 hours. So from the time I signed the lease to the time I turned her in, 24, on a 24 hour basis. 
hours the truck ran was actually 12,876.45 hours. Now that miles, because I didn't document that, dispatch miles was 216,217 miles for dispatch miles. Gross revenue to the truck, $534,899.51, which gave us a gross weekly average of $10,286.52. $2.47 per dispatch mile average. We had a uh, $1,465.47 per day average. $61.06 total hours. Uh, the total expense, fixed plus variable, $290,000, $290,081.32. per week. $1.34 per dispatch mile cost average. $794.74 per day cost average and a $33.11 total per hour cost average. To, you know, take off and get where I need to go. Um, if something held, holds me up, if I'm sitting, I try to make sure that it's not my fault. It's not something that I'm doing. Um, and I can tell you, and like I said, there's gonna be guys out there be like, man, I did that solo last year in my own truck. That's great, that's amazing. That's your experience. This is my experience I'm sharing with you guys to give you guys a perspective on what can be done here. There's probably somebody doing better than me here, Prime. I'm, I'm, I'm no, nope, there probably is. Okay, there's probably a million trucks out here doing better than me. But this is my experience. This is what I have to give you guys. And uh, these are actual numbers down to the penny. So, you know, you <laughs> let me hear you guys thoughts on this one. Is it possible? I, I know it's possible to make six figures in trucking, but a million with a mega carry? All right, first I wanna shout out to old Snapper. That's where I first came across this video. And then I actually went over to the truck driver's video, or I actually went over to the truck driver's page to watch the video. Shout out to FR8SK8R Trucking for the information. Uh, congratulations, bud for doing that cool million and actually showing the breakdown of the numbers, how you actually did it. If you guys want to see more and a little bit more in depth because the video is about 30 minutes, you guys can go over there and show him some love and actually listen to how he actually broke it down. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Shuffle.